We're here with the bug guy, Mike Rapp from the University of Maryland, and he's the entomologist there, and he's brought some guests with us. And our first topic, we're going to talk about something, a bug you might see a lot more of around your house this time of year. A lot of people have been sending emails about them. The stink bug, Mike, what are we seeing out there? Absolutely. This is home invasion season. This is the time of year as soon as we cross the uh, autumnal equinox, the first day of autumn. Hey, that's when stink bugs are going to start to come into homes. What they're really looking for is overwintering refuge. Out in nature, they'd be underneath the bark of a tree. They'd be finding a log, a brush pile. But guess what, Mike? Your house looks like a big fallen tree to them. So they're going to try to get in. They're going to come in through the attic. They're going to come in through loose places around your window air conditioner. And they'll also try to get underneath things like shutters and siding. So this is the home invasion season. They're coming, looking for a place to spend the winter, and your house is the place. That's why they're coming in. What do we do to prevent you know, getting some of these guys around the house? If we see them, how do we react and how do we... You know, the best way possible without making a stink. You know, how do we, how do we deal with it? <laughs> well, you got to think before you stink. And the place we start always is with exclusion. Anything that you do that's good for winterizing your house, keeping that cold air out, guess what? It's also going to work against allowing these home invaders in. I always recommend get the caulk out, seal up all those gaps around windows, air conditioners, any little crack in the eave. Use this. You can use your weather stripping. I always make sure my weather stripping is in place around doors. And anything you can do on those gable end vents on your house, get in there with window grade screening on the inside. Put that up. That's going to prevent those stink bugs from coming inside. So the step one is exclusion. Try to keep them out in the first place. All right. And then... Once we catch them, I know one way is to use the vacuum cleaner as well, right? To to kind of move them out. Is that is it? What do you recommend that? Well, yes. Again, uh, once they're inside, sure. Uh, I use a little portable vac, like a dust buster or something like that. I simply vacuum these guys up. I'll take that dust buster. I'll dump them out in a bucket of soapy water. Mike, it turns out that these guys are not good swimmers. So you can put them in a little bit of soapy water, that'll eliminate them. And then what I'll do is I'll simply add that to my compost pile. Now for the stink bugs up around the ceiling, up around the windows, you can make a very simple stink bug trap. You simply take a water bottle, cut the top off. This is pretty high tech, I know. Invert that top and put a little duct tape on it like this. If you hold it underneath the stink bug, they're going to dive in there. You can either capture them. What I'll do then is I'll take this, I'll put it in a Ziploc bag, I'll throw it in my freezer for about two weeks, then I'll take these guys out, I'll add them to my compost pile. I'm just going to return them to the cycle they came from. So I'll compost these and add them to the, the compost. The thing we don't want people to do is to flush them down a toilet. This is incredible waste of water. Every time you flush that toilet, it's going to be a gallon or two. So don't flush them down the toilet. Simply put them in some soapy water, put them in this uh, little stink bug trap, throw them in the freezer, add them to your compost. All right. What do you think is leading to the increase? I know we were talking about a decrease earlier, and now we've had the flip of the pendulum here, it seems. Well, it's been a pretty good year for plants. We've had a lot of rain early in the season. We're in a little bit of a drought right now, but by and large, this was a spectacular year for plants. These stink bugs love vegetables. They love fruit. They love the seed pods on trees. So I think they had a good year. So I think we're starting to see a few more stink bugs than we've seen, let's say, in the past two or three years, because I think it was just such a good season for stink bugs this year.